let's talk about Doom Scroll, a set collecting game about a social media network run by imps. Welcome to Brains on Games. I'm Dr. Brian McDonald. In this episode, we're going to talk about an upcoming game that's going to hit crowdfunding very soon. I'll put information about the campaign in the show notes below the video. This is a set collecting game that's all about a social media network run by imps. It's a game called Doom Scroll by GameStorm EDU. Now, this game came to me as a prototype. It came in a bag, not a box. So hopefully I'll have some box art to show you over my shoulder like we normally do. But this is a game for between one and four players. You can play this one with kids age 10 and up. Games take only about half an hour to 45 minutes to play. Let's take a deeper look at Doom Scroll by GameStorm EDU. Doom Scroll is a light set collecting and drafting game. What you're trying to do here to win the game, you want to be the player who sells three of the most valuable ads. Once a player has sold three ads, they're going to fill up his board here on the side and then the other players get one more turn to sell their third ad and then the game is over and the player with the most valuable ads will be the winner. Turns in Doom Scroll are really divided up into three parts. The first phase is the draw phase. You're going to get three draw actions where you're going to draft from a marketplace of six posts. These are just the regular social media posts and it's kind of a fantasy social media network, right? You're, you're an imp, an advertising imp, an AI. So you're an advertising imp who's trying to sell ads on the social media network but the posts are by orcs and elves and robots and trolls. So you've got some kind of silly parody posts that you might be able to draw, but you'll have a marketplace of six of these. You've got visual posts that would be a little bit more like Instagram, maybe, where you've got a big picture. These are going to, these are large cards that are going to take up extra space in your feed. So these visual posts have lots of symbols on the bottom. They have high numbers usually, but they take up two spots in your feed. They also take two draw actions. You're going to have three of these in the marketplace. So there's going to be a total of nine cards facing up at the beginning of each turn. Of course, you are trying to sell ads. So there is a deck of ads that you can draw from. These ones are face down, but if you choose as one of your actions to take an ad into your hand, you're going to draw two and discard the one that you don't want. And again, like I said, this is a silly fantasy social media network. So here you've got an orc workout and a fox coin investment in, in bitcoins, I guess. So you would choose one of these, take it into your hand and discard the other. And then the final action, which is an extra one. So you get those three draw actions and then you have to take into your hand an AI card, an advertising imp card. And these are actions that you can play in, in the action phase of the game that will affect your feed or your opponent's feed in some way. There are some take that actions uh, in this stack of cards. You might be able to report a post and get it removed from someone's feed. You could search through the discarded post and take one into your hand. Uh, or maybe you're going to fact check a post in your own feed so that you can get rid of a card that you don't want. Once the draw phase is done, the action phase begins and you can take three actions. Often those actions are going to be about playing cards into your feed. So you've drafted a hand of cards. You're going to play maybe an ad. Maybe you'll play a post into your feed. It requires an action to play an AI card to mess with someone's feed or to take that action on that card. And... and you can also discard posts. So if you have extra posts that you don't want, there, there is a use for those. If you discard two of these cards, you'll be able to take an influencer from the influencer stack and place it immediately onto the board. Those influencers give you some additional ability that carries through the rest of the game. You can have up to three of those influencers and often those guys are going to be about reducing the cost to sell an ad. So it makes it easier for you to sell an, one of your three ads that you need to sell to win the game. You could also discard a single card to get a like token and put a like token on one of your posts. Those like tokens increase the influence of the post, which just means that it counts as an extra symbol. So you've got each, each post has a symbol with a number beside it. That's how influential 
uh, that post is going to be. This is an entertainment post because it's got the little movie camera here. Well, it has a value of two, but now if I put a like on it, it's going to have a value of three. Of course, I'm not going to do that in this case because the ad in my feed doesn't care about entertainment. This is a sports ad. It's an, it's an orc exercise ad. So I'll probably want to put the like on a, a, a post that has some something to do with sports. So now this has a value of four. Once I've done my three actions, I'm going to check to see if I've sold an ad. If there's an ad in my feed, I'm looking for the symbols in my feed that match. So in this case, I need three of these mad faces. This post is emotional in some way. So I've got one, two, only two of those. So I'm not going to be able to match this up. If I did have the right symbols, a total of 10 sports icons and three of those emotion icons, I could take the ad out of my feed put it on the side of my board to show that it's been sold and then I discard everything from my feed. The player beside me who's already finished their turn is going to refill my feed with three cards from the market. That's going to allow them to probably mess things up for me and make it hard for me to match those symbols. Maybe that's when I want to start reporting posts and get them out of the feed so that I can add something good. And then the final thing that has to happen is that you have to discard down to a maximum of seven cards at the end of your turn. So if you haven't played very many cards, you're going to wind up discarding some. The set collection is quite challenging. So yes, you, you might get these big posts that have large numbers on them, but they're taking up two spaces and they're pushing all of the posts down. So it is like a social media feed. You're going to discard a post from the bottom when you add more to the top. So the new posts keep coming in at the top they're pushing everything off and so the symbols keep changing as you play through the game. And if you do wind up with something in the middle that you don't want, I wanted those sports icons but I've got this entertainment thing down here, that's where you, you, you may want to be playing those AI cards to start messing around with your feet a little bit so that you have space for the things that you really need. Like I said at the beginning, play is going to continue until a player has sold three ads and they've filled up their board here. The other players get one more turn to sell their three. Then you count up the number of points. Really what you're counting here is the number of icons on the rightmost side of your card. So in this case, this ad is worth 10 points. Those three emotion icons, they don't count for anything. It's only the real main category that counts. So that's going to be worth 10 points. So I might have some worth 10 or 11. If there's a tie, ties will get decided by the number of influencers. So more influencers are going to be worth more, but they only count for points in the event of a tie. Now what skills are you working on when you play a game like Doom Scroll? Well, of course, any, any set collection game involves matching. So you're kind of practicing that matching skill. That's not really what we're talking about here. This is a game that does place demands on executive functioning skills. The executive functions are those skills and behaviors that you need to work towards a goal. So you've got cards in your hand that you're budgeting. You've got to budget those three actions to make sure that you can do what you want. And you really do have to plan ahead in this game to get those symbols to sell the ads. You have to think about what order are you going to put things in because each time you add something, a card from the bottom is going to disappear. So if I've got three likes on a card that's near the bottom of my feed, and then I add an ad to the feed, well, then that card is going to be gone and I lose those three likes. So you really have to think ahead. It does become challenging, especially when we're talking about the ads that are worth more points. It becomes challenging to get all the symbols that you need in order to sell those ads. So this is very much an executive functioning game. Final thoughts about Doom Scroll. Of course, remember, this is a prototype, so things might change between now and the time that the game hits the wild. But this is a game that has a theme that I like. I mean, this is one of the reasons why I was excited to kind of get this one in the mail, because I thought, oh, a, you know, a game about a fantasy social media company that's run by imps, that sounded funny to me, and the cards are silly, and they're kind of fun, and they're a bit jokey, and you've got trolls who are going to put things into your feed and mess with the other players. Uh, it, it's a good time in that way. The set collection is very challenging. So it is one that might be frustrating a little bit, especially when we're talking about 10-year-old players who really have to plan ahead very carefully. There's only five spots in that feed. You might want maybe for the younger players to do a house rule where there's a six space for them at the top of their feed so that they've got a little bit more leeway to play with. But it, it is a game that has those silly, funny cards. It's quite... Um, complex in terms of the drafting and the set collection. Uh, the artwork is fun. Uh, like I said, the theme is fun. The cards are very silly. 
if there are downsides though to doom scroll well one is that and maybe this will change i'm hoping that this will change by the time the game uh, comes out but there were some duplicate cards so we would see the same card over and over again it would be more fun if even if the card has the same effect there was different flavor text on that post just to, to have more variability in the feeds of the players in the game so that you could read the post out loud and everybody could have a chuckle about it so more variation would definitely be good and that's something they may be working on uh, as the as the game uh, nears its completion the other thing i would say is that even though we really like the artwork and i thought the posts were funny this is a game where really you're paying attention to the icons because the set collection is so complicated and requires so much planning. You really do focus more on the icons than than the post or the flavor text at the top, which is too bad because I like that flavor text and uh, it would be, you know, maybe a house rule to read the, the post as you place it into your feed would be something that would make the game uh, even more fun. So we did find ourselves paying more attention here to those little icons than, than we did really to the text of the post or the silly uh, the this, this silly handle of the characters who were making the posts, uh, for example. So we, we had a bit of a tough time matching up those symbols. I had one really good turn where I got a visual post that had, I think, a six, six symbols that I actually needed, which was fantastic. It did take up some, some extra space in my feed, but I also had an influencer that reduced the cost by one, so I was able to sell an ad for pretty cheap even though I had a big visual post that took up some extra space. It could be frustrating, like I said, for the younger ones who do have to do so much planning. Um, but, you know, this is, if you like set collection and you like drafting, if you like that silly social media theme, then this is definitely a, a game that's worth looking into. And I will, like I said, put some information about Doom Scroll in the show notes below the video. Thanks so much to the folks at GameStorm EDU for sending doom scroll my way if you have any questions or comments you can of course leave them in the comment section below the video if you want to meet meet up at breakout in toronto in march that would be a lot of fun i'm getting some messages now about breakout so uh it'd be cool to meet up with some brainiacs maybe we're trying out brainiacs as a nickname for people who watch this show uh, it would be a lot of fun to meet up in march in toronto at breakout but you can, of course, leave a comment in the comment section below the video. You can email me at brian at brainsongames.ca. Brainsongames.ca is the website. That's where future episodes will go. Previous ones are up there already. Brains on Games is the X handle on the Facebook page and the Instagram feed, so we're all over the place. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to be notified of future ones, you can head on over to YouTube and click that subscribe button. Thanks for joining me, and hopefully I'll see you next time.